What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another comic book video. Today, the time has finally come to share with you a little part of my personal collection. What you guys have seen mostly in the past was comics that I bought to resell a lot of Fantastic Four, uh, X-Men, different comics like that, which I'm also a huge fan of, but a lot of those were sold and not kept from my personal collection. These ones today are all part of my personal collection, ones that I'm trying to put together and collect a whole bunch of, and that is what if comics. I absolutely love the concept behind them and I absolutely love these comics here. So these are not in any particular order and some of these I'm hoping I already pulled out some of the doubles that I do have to resell. Hopefully there is no doubles in this but we're just going to get straight into this. There is maybe 25, 30 comics around that. So let's just get started here. On top of that, all the comics you guys seen in the past was mostly all bagged and boarded. These ones here, I am going to be rebagging and boarding myself, but most of them do not have the boards. They're just bagged. So keep that in mind. Uh, up first, we have issue 53, which just looks really, really cool. That is an awesome, awesome cover there. Next, we have 58. Uh, the What If the Punisher Had Killed Spider-Man, which is awesome. I think that's a really, really cool one that uh, I can't wait to read. 59, What If Wolverine Led Alpha Flights. That's an interesting topic right there. I love Alpha Flight just because they are a Canadian team. Uh, this one here is boarded. Uh, 42, What If Spider-Man Had Kept His Six Arms. That is very, very interesting, and I actually forgot about this. So that is very cool that it is in a what if. 21, what if the Amazing Spider-Man had married the Black Cat? That is a very interesting one there. I can't wait to read that. Issue 20, what if the Amazing Spider-Man had not married Mary Jane? That's also awesome. We have Electro here. That's kind of good. I don't remember him in the first one. Uh, for this the wedding. I think it was in a uh, Annual or whatever this one here is a doubled one I haven't had time to rebag and board it But up first what if storm had the power of Phoenix? This is a modern uh, volume 279 Sorry volume 2 issue 79 I should have explained that a little better and we also have issue 80 on the back here What if the Hulk had involved into the maestro? So that's really cool. That's a little too, uh, not modern, but higher up than I want. I want to complete a run of ish, uh, volume one and then volume two, issue one to 50. That's kind of what I'm trying to put together right now. We have what if uh, Captain Marvel had not died, issue 14 of what if. Issue 15, what if the Fantastic Four had lost the trial of Galactus? That's an interesting one. I do love Fantastic Four. Issue 16, what if Wolverine battled Conan the Barbarian? That's an interesting one. I forgot I even had that one. So that one is definitely a cool one for me. This is one I've been looking for for a while and I finally picked it up. This is issue 17. What if Kraven the Hunter had killed Spider-Man? That's a very interesting comic. A lot of people have been selling this one for $15 plus. I managed to pick this up for $7 uh, not too long ago, actually. Issue 22, what if the Silver Surfer had not escaped Earth? Interesting. Definitely have to read that. Next up, we have what if the Marvel superheroes had lost Atlantis attacks? Issue 25 which is awesome. I absolutely love the cover. I think this one here, I have two other copies that I am going to be selling, but that is still a really cool one for myself. Issue 31, what if Spider-Man had kept his cosmic powers? That would be very interesting. That one I'm really, really excited for, so I can't wait to read that. Next, issue 35, what if Fantastic Five fought Doctor Doom and Analyus? Probably butchered that, but that's really cool. Issue 46, what if Cable had destroyed the X-Men? That's a very interesting one. I haven't even uh, thought of that, so that is really cool. Absolutely love Cable. I have issue 1 to 50 uh, in my collection now. Uh, issue 47, what if Magneto, it, Magneto took over the USA? Part 2 of 2. So that means there's part 1 of this? Definitely have to be on the lookout for that. 
uh, this is volume one, issue 25, what if Thor and the Avengers and, and the Avengers battled the gods. I don't know why I was stuttering there, but this is in pretty decent condition. Uh, it's not really beat up, it's just not boarded. We do have another modern one. This is issue 77, what if Legion had killed Magneto? So again, for volume two, I just wanna collect right now to start issue one to 50, and I'll show you why in a minute. Uh, and also I want to collect uh, volume one as a complete two, but some of those are a little pricey. Uh, issue 13, what if Professor X of the X-Men had become the Juggernauts? That is, I think, one of the first what ifs that I picked up. I just happened to have in a lot that I did purchase and decided to keep for myself. That's a really, really interesting one right there. This one here is also really cool. What if the Avengers lost the Evolutionary War? Issue one. That is one that I picked up. I actually thought it'd be a lot worth a lot more money since it's issue one, but it's volume two issue one or one of the issue ones uh, for volume two. So that is really cool. Still a great comic for my personal collection and one that I absolutely love, not necessarily the most because I love all of these ones, but it's definitely very unique. That is issue 50 of volume two. What if the Hulk had killed Wolverine? And it is foiled. That is awesome. You guys know I absolutely love foil comics, so that is really cool. So I am on the lookout for more What If comics, and I actually can't freaking wait to start picking these up. Complete the volume one and complete volume two, issue one to 50. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will leave this here. Please take care. Peace.